better ways welcome back to another vlog it's me andrea and y'all before i say anything before i say anything at the time of this recording right it's been let me pull up the receipts it's been 28 days and 22 hours since i post my last video and as far as like actually picking up this camera to record it's been about a month maybe it's yeah just about a month y'all listen i <laughs> i've been going through a lot i have been going through a lot my faith has been being tested but you know what i stand strong on my faith but i will say i've been going through a really hard time and i had to take some time to figure out what I just need to take some time for this situation that I'm currently going through. I feel like I talked about it a little bit in the last vlog that I posted. Maybe I didn't even post it. I don't know. We'll see because I haven't even gotten to the point of... <clears throat> I'm so sorry, y'all. I don't know what's going on there. I haven't gotten to the point of recording. Well, I haven't gotten to the point of editing that vlog yet. It's all done. I went and looked at it yesterday. Like I have all the footage and stuff like that. I just haven't started editing that yet. I am editing my vlog when we took the kids out to Orlando to go to SeaWorld. So hopefully that'll be up either today or tomorrow. But yeah, it's it's just been it's just been a lot going on. I got my hair done and I feel like I haven't had my hair done, like went to someone to do my hair and quite some time. I feel like the last person that actually did my hair was Trey's sister when he proposed. So I'm excited about this. And y'all, she did such a good job. My expectations, I promise they were not this high. What I'm doing right now, I'm actually in a car. I just wanted to get out of the house. I feel like I haven't really been cooped up in the house, but I've been in, I just been in the house. So I decided that I wanted to come out. I'm thinking I might try to go to the gym because y'all, it is Thursday. It is... September 12th, a Thursday, and y'all already know my workout split is Monday through Friday. Y'all, I have not worked out at all this week. I have not worked out at all this week, so I figure, let me go ahead, get dressed, put some clothes on, go and study, because I have a unit exam. I have my first exam for nursing school Monday, as well as a HESI exam. So all of that stuff that I'm just studying for. And I wanted to go close to the gym to study because if I if I have the energy after I'm done studying, then I'm just go ahead and hop right in the gym. So I'm just trying. I'm just trying to get myself out of this little funk I found myself in. Anyway, 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 yes. So I'm about to go ahead and go and study, probably go to the gym. Um, go grab some food and we're gonna see we're gonna see where this vlog takes us i'm gonna open this actually what is it Ooh. before i do anything else i need to put on my perfume y'all fragrance of the day the burberry her elixir I'm just going to take a Venti Matcha Latte on ice with light ice. Venti Matcha Latte, ice, light ice, okay. Um, two of your bacon egg bites. Okay. And that'll be all. All right. It's going to be 18 thank, thank you. Thank you. Goodness me. Hold on. Ooh, got scared. Great, how are you? Good. It's good. Did you need a receipt for the purchase today? No, thank you. A lot going on here. Stuff around. All right, here we go. Thank you. Okay, okay? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> I ordered it wrong. I ordered it wrong. I ordered it wrong. Oh. <gasps> uh. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, I'm so sorry. I ordered 
I ordered it wrong. Um, I don't know what happened. It's supposed to be a matcha latte on ice with light ice made with oat milk and two pumps of vanilla. I have no clue where my mind went. Oh, I'll meet it for you. Thank you so much. I feel horrible. I feel so bad. What was I thinking about? I think I was thinking too hard about the food that I wanted that I completely forgot how to order my drink. I don't know. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You too, thank you. I cannot believe it's one o'clock. And this is the first thing I'm eating. I need to stop doing that. Look at those big eating mess. Looks so good. Y'all tell me why I'm at the gym. <laughs> How did I get here? How did I get here? What are you doing here? I am supposed to be at Panera. I mean, in my defense, it's right across the street, but why am I here? I decided I'm just going to, I'm going to work out first. I'm going to work out first. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought I, I did leave my sweater. How did I do that? How did I do that? <laughs> I left my freaking sweater at home. Now I got to just walk in there. But, um, yes, I didn't find anybody for the matcha. So I'm gonna be honest, I don't know. If I'm feeling like it later, I might just torture myself a little. No, I'm not, I ain't gonna do it. It's, mm, mm The gastrointestinal distress be real. I'm not gonna purposely put myself through that, so. Yeah. But I'm about to go into the gym, I'm about to just work out first, and I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know what I'm about to be doing in here, though. Wait, what was that? Smith Machine Burlington Squats. Romanian deadlifts, laying leg curls, single leg Romanian deadlifts, single leg hip thrust, and hip abductor. Do I want to do that? My workout split for today, Thursday's workout split, and we're going to see. I got to grab my bag out of the back. Got to get my life together. I didn't even put the water in my water cup I love my little Stanley I actually like this Stanley better than the one that everybody be going crazy over <laughs> why why are things happening right now that's irritating me I just feel my water bottle I really should have been drinking on this freaking pre-workout now I'm about to be in here like mm. so I'm gonna go ahead and see y'all uh, a little bit later I really gotta get new pre-workout. I don't like the taste of this one anymore. Y'all, I finished up in the gym maybe like 10, 15 minutes ago. And I won't lie, I'm low-key debating on whether or not I want to go back and finish my workout because, do I turn this way? Which way am I turning? I think it's this way. Because I didn't get a, I didn't get a good workout in. I won't lie, I didn't get a good workout in. Um, ooh, yeah, let me just go. I didn't get a good workout in, which I'm not complaining about. It's fine. I just, um, when I first started my workout, this girl who's new to the gym came over and she wanted some tips. She wanted some pointers and stuff like that. And I'm like, all right, I can help. Why not? She said she's a new mom. She just had, um, well, she just had a baby she hasn't really been in the gym she just wanted some pointers and stuff like that and i'm like why who how can you deny somebody like that right so i was like literally at the beginning of my workout and when she came over so i kind of stopped what i was doing and i helped her out like just hey maybe you can do this because i'm not a trainer or anything like that and i did tell her that i'm like i'm not a trainer but as far as like technique and um your posture and stuff like that i can offer a few notes just a few and so she's like sure like yeah I just you know I just want to get started somewhere cool so I spent about a good hour and a half working with her with that got the GPS on now I'm two minutes from the gym and I'm trying to think on whether or not I want to just go home and try the apartment gym or if I want to go back in here and actually finish up the my Thursday um, workout split I'm not sure so I think what I'm gonna do I'm going to go home and I'm gonna check out the apartment 
gym see what they're working with i feel like there's not much in there i haven't been in there since last time i lived here but i feel like there's not much in there at all like anything that i would i could really get i guess a good workout in with so, but i'm gonna check it out i'm gonna check it out anyway because i also want to see about any type of places in there that i can study in the little apartment clubhouse or whatever so we're gonna see about that Friday morning it is it is 8 zero eight forty two on a Monday mo Monday on a Friday morning that sounds Monday it's Friday y'all <laughs> it's Friday morning and I started getting ready um without y'all because you're about to head to the gym but I have to run downstairs so I can get another SD card so we can go ahead and continue this vlog because this one's running out of space. I got like 25 minutes left on this one. Where is my medication? Let's take this upstairs. Yeah, I'm gonna take this upstairs. And I want to take upstairs. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, yeah, I woke up a little bit early. I wasn't supposed to wake up until like around 9 o'clock, 9 30, because I wasn't gonna go to the gym until about 10 o'clock. But Darion woke me up saying that he was needed to ride to school because he woke up late. This is the second morning in a row this boy done woke up late, so we gonna fix that. And he lucky it was raining because he was gonna be walking anyway. And he's like, but it's pouring outside. And I'm like, okay. So I ended up getting up. Ooh! I gotta put this in the safe. I ended up getting up, taking him to school. And since I'm up, I figure I might as well just get my day started. So that's what we are doing. I ended up getting this little case. I think I showed y'all this already, but I got this case that I carry my camera in off Amazon too. What do I want to use? I don't know what don't have anything on it. I got to check. So I got to check, make sure there's no footage on one of these. But y'all, ooh. But last night y'all saw me at the community gym and it wasn't anything fancy. Obviously it's like the standard regular like apartment gym. So wasn't much in there, but I made, I made it work. I, 
I made it work for what I needed it to do, but I don't know if I'll be going over there as often because it's just, I was looking at all my workouts Monday through Friday compared to the equipment that's in there. And it's like, I won't be able to like either there's no date I will be able to get through an entire workout. So I figure that'll be just a waste of my time I'm trying to run over there. Hold on. No, this is, hold on y'all. Cause now I'm confused. Hold on. I don't know if I can use that one. Yeah, we're going to use that one for the rest of this vlog. Anyway, um, yeah, I was looking at my workout split and I'm like, I'm not going to be able to do not one workout, like one complete workout in this gym. So I feel like maybe those days that I'm not feeling good and I can't make it to the gym, I'll just go over to our community gym and just do a little something, something. But other than that, yeah, I don't, I just don't see it. I just don't see it working. Like if there was some weights in there then it will work. But I'm pretty sure they don't have weights in there because they know people are going to steal them. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm about to go ahead and throw on my freaking the set that I got from Shein. And I'm gonna come back to y'all. Let me put this back on the chart. Actually, yeah, 100% already. But I'm gonna come back to y'all. All right, y'all, I don't know if this light is too bright, but this is the outfit. I, listen, remember i feel like if i post this vlog i don't know but remember when i was like i bought all these gym sets from shein and they were gym-esque they weren't really like gym material i still feel like they're more gym-esque but i feel like there's certain colors of this because i have let me show y'all i have a bunch of these sets right because i bought about i bought a bunch so here's all the sets that i have and I feel like there's certain colors that actually do really good as actual gym clothes. So I don't know what's going on there because they're all the same exact thing. There's just certain ones that are better quality, it seems like. I don't know. And this is one of them. And it just holds you in so nicely. Look at that. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Y'all, and I've been working out, <laughs> well, trying to work out a little bit more consistently without actually missing dates because y'all, at the end of this month, me and Trey are going to Columbia for a wedding and I am so excited. This is going to be my first time ever in life, in my 32 years on this earth around this sun, going out of country. And I'm so excited, y'all. I am so excited. I got my new passport updated with my new name and everything. Hold on, let me show y'all. I just realized my passport's in the car. I had to get something notarized, so it's still in the car. I gotta take that out. But yes, y'all, I'm so excited. We're supposed to be going to Columbia at the end of this month. And I definitely want to vlog the trip. That's honestly why I kind of decided to kind of come out of, despite everything that I'm going through, I kind of wanted to come out of the little shell that I had put myself in. I'm still locked in. I'm still focused in focus mode. But I just wanted to do something. That's probably why this vlog is going to be a little jumpy and all over the place. So again, I apologize for that. I apologize. Ooh. I'm just I'm just getting myself back used to being in front of the camera. I feel like even if you take like a two week break, there's something that you should do. It's just like post a vlog, just something random. Just get in front of the camera and just get back comfortable and stuff like that. So yeah, but as far as this outfit, yeah, these make me feel real comfortable real confident in the gym and i'm about to be wearing my nike socks and then i'm wearing my own clouds these are actually my first pair of own clouds i need to get a new pair because y'all i don't know if you can actually see but these things they just gym shoes now they they just they just shoes for the gym now because Ain't no way I'm gonna wear shoes that dirty in the hospital, okay? I got a reputation to uphold. So I'm just about ready. I just gotta get my backpack situated. Gotta put my computer and stuff in here. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on. You know what? I hope this is charged enough. I'm gonna take the charger with me. My books and stuff is already in there. And I think... I think be ready. Mm -mm -mm. Dang, I literally, hold on y'all.
y'all. I literally just told myself to pack this charger. Mm. All right, y'all, let's go. I gotta put some gas in this freaking car. Here. I don't know if I showed y'all this either. I got so many new things, so many new things. But here is my new car air freshener that Trey bought me. I like the fact that it don't have a cord. I feel like the ones that I've been finding like this, it you had to keep the cord plugged in. But for this one, you do not, and I absolutely love it. And I keep it on smart, so every single time I get in the car, like as soon as I open the door, it just a burst of this because it's like amber vanilla so if you have the seven virtues amber vanilla that's what this smells like and it smells so good but let's go ahead and get going y'all <clears throat> i have to stop at the gas station so i can grab some gas and then um we'll be on our way to the gym was i was willing and i don't know if this is gonna sound crazy i was willing to completely die to any form of me that I have been so that I can birth the woman that I was becoming any longer. I had hit my version of rock bottom. So I was willing to let go of everything and everybody to teach myself, learn myself, condition myself, and then come back and get them. I'm much more valuable to them now. I'm not extraordinary. You don't get off the hook. You don't get to be let off the hook. I'm an ordinary woman who chooses every day to make one more extraordinary decision. Let's see. Hi, Liam. How are you? Great. How are you? Doing pretty good. Can I have a name for the order? Yes, Andrea. Andrea, got you. <laughs> what can I get started for you, Liam? Um, I'm going to take a four-piece chicken strip. Four-piece chicken strip? Um, I'll do the meal. And I'll take a... Um, I'll take a Sunjoy with that. Yes, ma'am. And then I'll also take a um, 12 count nugget with. Um, I'll take the meal as well with a Sunjoy. Yes, ma'am. Any sauces for you today? Um, I'm going to take the. What is it? The honey roasted? Honey roasted barbecue? Yes, please. Yes, ma'am. And Chick fil A and Polynesian sauce. Yes, ma'am. Anything else for you today? Um, Can I make the fries large, actually? For both meals? Yeah. Not the drinks, just the fries? Uh, yes. Yeah, she's gonna be twenty four, twenty one. Okay, can I scan this as well? Okay, I have to ask, which one was that? Cause that which smells, one? It's that's... it's this thing, but the scent is amber vanilla. Gosh, it smells so good. I'm telling good. you, thank you. It's oh, it's whoa. so good. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. You too. Hold on. Let me get these. Oh, that was open. Oh my God, that was so open. Oh, that was so lucky I had a good handle on that. Obviously, as you can see, and as I said, I'm at Chick-fil-A. I'm grabbing me and Trey some food. I was gonna try to just study at Panera. I was gonna get breakfast from Panera and just study there, but because um, I completely forgot that I have to pick him up from the dealership. Oh my God, I want my fries. I forgot that I had to pick him up from the dealership because he's getting an oil change today. My fries. So I'm just gonna let him use the car while his truck is getting situated. And I'm gonna just go home. I didn't have much to do today anyway. Mm, 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 mm. I didn't have much to do today anyway. So I'm just gonna go home. Good morning guys, y'all gonna have to excuse me. First of all, it's days later, it's Monday morning and I'm supposed to be on my way to my school campus, but y'all, I'm about to be running late. Oh my God, I didn't even eat breakfast this morning. You know what, this is what I get for trying to get a few extra minutes of sleep because I have an appointment, well, I have a meeting at 9.30 and this GPS is now saying that I'm supposed to be getting there at 9.40. I'm about to be even later because I just made it out the gate. I had to turn around because I just realized I forgot my ID in my entire wallet, actually, in my other purse. Oh my God. See, you know what? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, y'all, so I got my wallet and stuff and I'm about to stop at McDonald's because ain't no point in being this hungry 
driving to this freaking place. I have an hour and 33 minutes to drive and I need to put some on my stomach. Um, GPS is saying that I'm supposed to be there about 9.50, which is about 20 minutes late. And I need to get the, I don't even have this lady's number to call her and let her know I'm about to be late. Oh. Mm, come on. Am I sweating? Come on out. I don't even feel it. <sighs> anyway, I just left. God dang it. I just left out of this meeting and I felt like it went well. I am hopeful for change and better things better situations but um i'm trying to think what i'm about to do because they just sent out a message letting us know that we can or cannot come to class today um we do have two tests we have the ankle we have the hussy we have the hussy as well as our unit one exam for today and um yeah, because I guess the hurricane is coming. Y'all, I don't watch the news, so I don't even know. I guess there's a hurricane that's about to be approaching. So they are giving students the option on whether or not they want to come or not. But I'm just here. I'm already here, so obviously I'm going to be taking a test. Please, please let me pass this test. Since I'm already out here, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to hang out. I'm just going to stay out here. Hubby's at work all day anyway, so it's not like, you know... I can be home bothering him or anything like that. So, like, there's there's no reason for me to go back home. I'm just stay around this area and kind of explore a little bit. All right, y'all. So, I'm about to head towards the hospital just so I can look around. I'm also trying to think because I'm thinking my first clinical... What is it? My first clinical... Rotate... Not rotation. I haven't started my clinical hours yet. And so, my first day of clinical is going to be... I believe I want to make it the 20th such a little squirrel is so little oh shit it's my turn <laughs> yeah it's gonna be on the 20th um i do i don't know i'm thinking maybe the 19th in the 20th i'm gonna put it on the calendar and just see if i get away with it because technically right as of right now they're saying that they only want us to work one clinical day per week but for myself, I'm not working or anything right now. I got all the free time I need. Like, I, I'm good. I'm good. So I'm hoping to work at least two shifts out of the week. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that on the calendar. And hopefully they just let it stay. Hopefully they let me work those days. So, yeah, today is the 16th. So that would be three days from now. If I'm able to work the two, that would be three days from now. So I got three days to get my mind right to work my first night shift in a long time like i haven't worked night shifts in so long i'm not the most excited about it but um i, I kind of am because i need to i do need i do want to get used to working night shift because a lot of the contracts and stuff that i see is night shifts and if i can just get used to it a little bit you know or experience it and like see how it really is maybe maybe i'll be fine but i'm about to go ahead and finish listening to some story times just driving around this area see what it has to offer go and talk to the people in the unit and i'm going to see y'all later hiv which hiv is huge on the implants mm, yeah mm. Mm. Let me see. And it's after you use that, your, the EpiPen is your first line, what you do. You would want to give corticosteroids for the angioedema because of that swelling, and then the corticosteroids is going to help with the inflammation. But I don't necessarily see anything in the slides. <laughs> Yeah, she didn't have nothing on the start. Mm -mm. There, I see you. Oh, I went, I, to, call you I went to the mall. I'm about to walk around and grab something to eat real quick and then head back to the Smith building. Okay. Well, I'll see you there. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Yeah, I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated. Anyway, I'm outside the mall. A mall. I don't even know what mall this is. But I'm about to go in here real quick just so I can see what it's looking like. 
and I hope I bought my headphones because I do not walk around. Uh, I hope I bought my headphones. I know I bought them. I put them somewhere. Got my headphones. I'm about to go ahead and get out and walk around this mall. See what they got going on up in here. I got my ID. I got my debit card. I feel like I should have wore a different pair of scrubs today. And y'all, I'm sorry if this vlog is boring and low-key kind of all over the place and just eh, but there's no real reason I'm here, so there's no reason to vlog. Just want to look around, maybe pick something up. So I'm going to see y'all when I get back in the car. So I'm back in the car. Again, I actually just left the mall. Y'all, I left the mall right. Hold on. Hold on. Let me show y'all what I got. Okay. So your girl is back at the school. Okay. Okay. Y'all, this is a lot right now, but let me get situated. So I went to Windsor, but my stuff spilled out of the bag. I got... This dress, and I have the same exact dress in black, but I've been wanting other colors. But the Windsor that's out in Fayetteville, it never had, they never, they have these, but they never have extra small. I need an extra small, and I finally found a brown one, an extra small, y'all. When I say I love these dresses because they are so sexy, but these are the type of dress you can just throw on, throw like a jean jacket or something over it. And you look like you actually did something with yourself. Um, I did get, I got a sample. What is this? This is Mind Games Queening. So I think this was the, this was the floral one from Dillard's. They had a, um, what is it? Mind Games. It's crazy because I've never heard of this brand. And it's pretty, it's a pretty expensive brand. brand I won't lie, but I'm thinking there's one like this one this um queen queening and ooh. yeah this one for sure i want this so this one and i think she said y'all this is 375 for this bottle mm, when i do decide to buy it so that was kind of expensive so that was mind games queening and y'all i went to oh i got this from windsor as well was this this was 25.90 but it was on sale but i think <laughs> i love this i think that's so cute and i like the fact that it actually fits my head you can kind of bend and like shape this so i like that as well but y'all first of all i think that is so freaking cute I like it so much. I think that's so oh shit. I think that's so cute. I I just can't believe it actually fit my head. It actually fits my head. I'm so happy about that. But um yeah, so that's all the stuff that I purchased. I ended up buying us some food. I got some Mongolian chicken with some uh rice. Yeah, so I just been around. I won't even lie, I just been driving places doing stuff where's my computer oh right here i've been just driving places doing stuff just honestly minding my own business just trying to see exactly what's about to go on y'all it is 14 26 and i've been here since about nine o'clock in the morning just trying to find something to do um so let me go ahead and check this email because i'm still waiting on an update i'm trying to figure out the I'm trying to figure out if the tests we're taking this afternoon, if we are still going to be taking both tests, the HESI and the unit exam, or if it's just gonna be the unit exam today. Like, I'm not sure, because the rain, it's starting to rain a little bit harder. And I know they gave us the option to come take the test. So I was hoping to like, hold on y'all. I was hoping the rain kind of hold off a little bit longer, like just, if it's gonna speed up or get heavier, I need it to get heavier now. That way, by the time I'm driving home, it's not as heavy. So yeah, I'm just trying to figure all that out. Hold on, let's see, do we have any more emails? Any updates, any updates at all? No. Huh. We do not. 
we do not have any updates so yeah we don't have any updates there nobody sent out any text messages yet nope hmm. Hmm. wow I will update via email shortly yo that was at one o'clock and it's about to be 2 30 like this come on now oh my goodness <sighs> okay I'm tired I'm so tired let's see let's see let's see let's see okay so I am I just finished drinking a boba it's all gone but I want another one and the closest place that I see with some that look like it may be Ooh, in Winston-Salem. Okay. All right, I guess that's what we're about to do. We're just adventuring out right now. Y'all, the times like this, like when I do random stuff like this, I'd be so mad because I want my husband here with me doing this and just trying stuff. I hate when I stumble across or find myself with a bunch of free time like this where I get to just run around and just do stuff that I want to be doing or just trying new things, going to new places, whatever the case may be. And I'm doing it without my husband. I hate that so much because I want to experience things with him. Like, uh, but it is what it is. We're gonna have to bring it back, do a little redo. But yeah, I'm about to go and grab me another boba real quick. A place we are going to, it looks like it's called Momo Ashi Cafe. Momo Ashi, Momo Ashi Cafe. I'm probably saying that all wrong, hold on. I'm saying that all wrong, ain't I? Does it look like Momo Ashi? <sighs> Hold on, y'all. <clears throat> still outside, still in scrubs. But it's finally, okay, I didn't start the car yet. I thought I started the car. It should be five o'clock. Um, anyway, y'all, I just love Alta, right? And I got a few things. Got these little gummies for Trey. And I don't know if he, oh shoot. I don't know if he even need these because he, he takes these, but I don't even know if he need a refill. I just saw them and I'm like, okay, why not? Just in case he runs out. And then I got this um, Sol de Janeiro. Is that how you say this? Sol de Janeiro? I don't know. I got this little travel size thing, but this is for Mia. This is for her birthday. Y'all, baby girl's birthday is on the 30th. She's about to be seven. And she's been asking for a little mini set. She don't care what scent it is. She just wants one. So I'm like, all right, I, it's 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 the 16th i'm like so let me go ahead and start getting her little birthday thing together i got a few more things that i want to get her but that is one of them now as for myself y'all i love this bumper eraser from kp and they have the strawberry scent now so i was super excited about that um i have these these are the caffeine and caffeine energizing hydro gel eye patches from good molecules so i'm excited to use those because y'all know i'm just in love with good molecules at the moment i got some more things i got a brightening the daily brightening serum from good molecules i haven't tried this yet i don't necessarily need it but i did want to just try it um i got this <laughs> i got this little poop spray um i don't know about y'all but I like to have this on me. I, this gonna sound. I like to have this on me, especially when I am somewhere for a long time. Y'all already know I have IBS, and sometimes the smells that come out of my body, it smells like I'm running from the inside out. And so, just so I am being very courteous to the other individuals that have to come into the bathroom after me, if it just so happened to occur that I have to go to the bathroom. I like to keep this. I also got the Russian Red Mac lipstick. Y'all, yeah. this, me buying this, honestly, was just a surreal moment because I'm sitting there, right? I'm like, okay, me and Trey go on, we go to the we go to the Col we go to Colombia at the end of the month and um, we pretty much have everything we need, but I wanted a nice red lip. I wanted a nice red lipstick and I was looking, I also need a brown one too, but I'll, I'll cross that. Yeah, we'll find it later. But I went in there, right? 
and I was like okay I was thinking I'm like okay you know what Ruby Woo let me go get the Mac Ruby Woo lipstick and it's so crazy because I like that was that specific lipstick that specific color was on my goals list of things that I wanted to buy since I was like maybe 18 years old like 17 18 because i i remember seeing there was this girl that i used to follow and i i can't remember the name but i just know when twitter was like a really popular thing back then obviously i was still living in cedar rapids at the time um there was this girl that i was following and i just was obsessed with her she was the most prettiest thing she was a very dark skin melanated black woman and she was just so confident she was just so beautiful she was just so pretty and um she had a lot of followers but one thing that i always would like just her lipstick is her lipstick it was just always so beautiful and i'm just like i wish i could wear lipstick like that because obviously i'm pretty sure we've all as black women experienced trying to wear red lipstick and it just wasn't working but this lipstick that she had on it always looks so good just beautiful every time and so i remember asking commenting to one of her photos i'm like hey what lipstick is this not thinking that she's going to write back because she has so many people following her and she wrote back and she put ruby woo and so when i started looking it up i'm like oh my gosh i want this and it was like a 25 dollar lip like it was like 20 to it was in the 20s it was a very expensive lipstick and i'm like huh there's no way i can afford this and so for years i just didn't get it because i'm like i just can't afford this the fact that I've made it to a point in my life where I was able to walk into Alta and I'm just walking over and didn't even bat an eye at being able to afford a $25 lipstick, y'all. It's not, I don't wanna say it's not even that expensive because it is, but it's just the fact that that's something for a very long time that I wasn't able to afford. And I was finally able to afford, like if, if I wanted it, I could get it. And that it just, I was really standing there in front of the MAC products and I'm like, how did I get here? Like, I'm grateful, I am blessed, and I'm so happy, and I'm so proud of myself, but man, was it a journey. Like, it was a journey. It was a, it was a journey. It was a journey. I can't explain the things that I had to go through and endure and just overcome to get where I'm at right now is just very, very, very humbling and very it's a proud moment i was sitting there like this is crazy anyway with that being said i didn't even get ruby woo like i was sitting there trying the lipsticks on and stuff like that and i'm like it's just not going it's just not doing what i needed to do y'all i ended up getting russian red the mac matte lip lip lipstick and i'm just i'm just over them like i don't know why this is so small but i'm proud i'm so proud that i was able to do something like this y'all i don't know maybe i don't know um, I also got a, again, this is so crazy, but I also got a MAC lip gloss, which is the lip gloss that I got on right now. And I actually like it because it's definitely not so sticky because I know my Fenty is really, really sticky and I don't like that. But this one feels really good. And then the last thing I got was this vanilla musk oil that smells so good. Y'all, I love a vanilla i love 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 a vanilla so i was super excited about that but those are the little goodies that i purchased today and i am so excited about them i am hungry so i did stop off at the little boba place that we were talking about and i got me a thai tea boba and this is supposed to be the regular tapioca bobas and it don't look like it so let me see something because i'm about to be so mad if it's not Okay, hold on. Mm, mm hmm. Mm. Mm. Okay, it's a regular one. Because I like the, what is it? I like the brown sugar boba and the regular boba. I also got this crab, um, what did you say? A crab floss or something like that which looks like this, it's like seaweed. There's supposed to be crab and rice in here. So I'm excited to try that. And I also got this matcha strawberry thick toast. Y'all, I really wish my husband was with me. Ooh, okay, I wasn't expecting that. Hmm. 
so that's what it looks like it looks like marshmallows you can't see the wait i don't want to spill it you can't see the strawberry okay yes you can there we go i ruined it <laughs> i don't know i want to bite this right now mm. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. Okay. You know what? Let me try this as well. Wait, am I? Hold on. Okay. So the seaweed is not like on the rice. I think I have to put it on myself. Mmm. Mm. This is actually really good. This crab in there. Mmm. 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 Y'all want to go in there and buy another one, but let me not waste any more time. Any more, more time than I already have. But I'm telling y'all, I need. Next time I come out here, I'm getting this. Mmm. Look at that. That is so good. Mmm. I'm sorry. Mmm. <laughs> this is so good. Okay. I do want to attempt. To go back towards the school <clears throat> so i'm about 37 minutes away that's crazy <laughs> mm. mm. y'all y'all probably can't really see me or y'all probably can't even really hear me because it is raining like crazy but find out, y'all, I just dropped nursing. <laughs> I just left this course. I just left the course. I just left the nursing course. I sent the email and let them know like I'm not going to be dealing with what I have been dealing with with this course anymore. And now that I'm not about to be in this course, I'm going to tell y'all about it. I'm going to tell y'all about what I've been dealing with with this school and this course. I'm gonna let y'all know what school I was going to and stuff like that. I did tell y'all once I was no longer in the program, I would talk a little bit more about it. And that time has come because one thing I refuse to ever do in my entire life again is deal with unnecessary inconvenience and disrespect. So, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's bittersweet because I feel like I let a lot of people down as far as like, people actually helping me get here to this program only for it to be a very poorly ran program and i don't know it just it just it just upset it because it didn't have to be like this it didn't have to be like this but um it is raining so hard one, but one of the one of my breaking points today in making my decision on leaving the program is um so Today is a very rainy day. Actually, I gotta stop at some point and get gas, but I, I got a few more miles I can go. But, um, so today is a very rainy day. Today is, um, the, it's very bad weather. Um, and there's supposed to be a hurricane. There was supposed to have been a hurricane off the coast of North Carolina. Obviously, once it hits, it's only gonna be a tropical storm. But as you can probably hear, and as we already know, when it comes to the tropical storms, there's still high winds. There's still rain, there's still really bad, like flood, flood, um, flat, flash, floods and stuff like that. So, um, I had came out here, you know, earlier this morning to have a meeting on some of the things. Hold on, wait a second, I can see. Shit. I had had a meeting, and y'all, I still have to drive an hour, and I'm still got an hour and 24 minutes on my GPS that I have to go. Driving at night in the rain and with high winds. So anyway, I'm saying all that to say, I got out here at nine o'clock in the morning 
and um, I was supposed to have been having a meeting. I got out here at nine o'clock in the morning to have a meeting with the director of the program. And I was meeting with the director of the program because y'all, there has been a lot of things about this program that had, that's just not good. Like it's so, so, so freaking bad. And um, I got out here at nine o'clock and nine-ish in the morning and I was gonna, you know, I was staying out here and stuff like that because with the confusion and the lack of communication when it comes to the instructors, y'all know I mentioned that earlier, where? <gasps> y'all, my fucking car just slid, it's bloody on my toe. Okay, let me continue, let me continue. Cause this is literally proving my point on why I'm so upset and why I decided to leave this course. <sighs> that just scared the hell out of me. Oh my God, my car just literally slid and it's so much construction. Anyway, okay. So my adrenaline is running. I can feel it tingling through my body. That was just so scary. <sighs> okay, so. I decided that I was going to stay out here because because of the lack of communication and miscommunication, um, I thought that we had an earlier test. So I was trying to make it out here. Um, the expectation for me when I thought the time was right, oh my God, I can't see, was to um, take the test, go have my meeting and stuff like that. Well, no, the test was literally later in the afternoon. So the test wasn't until about 5.30 the start of actual class so class wasn't canceled or anything like that um i'm sorry y'all if i'm all over the place now but i'm telling y'all i just had a near-death experience it's, it's it's it sounds dramatic but no i'm so serious anyway um so the class wasn't until later that afternoon and so i was hanging around you know around like closer to the school area so i can be close because the instructors ended up sending out a email basically saying due to inclement weather, um, students don't have to come into class today. They don't have to come into class today um, because safety is the most important. But that absence, if they decided not to come, is still gonna be counted against them. And we are literally at the very beginning of this nursing program and we can only have three absences. So what happens if I get sick or end up, you know what I'm saying? Like you wanna save those absences. So does, is, is safety of the students the most important? Because it don't seem that way, right? It didn't seem that way at all. Um, because if it was, you would have just canceled the class or moved the test, right? Um, because you know for a fact that students are going to be risking their, their health and safety trying to get here just to avoid getting the absence. They know that. So with that being said, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna stick around. I ended up driving out to Greensboro. Y'all saw that earlier. I drove out to Greensboro so I can go to the mall. I drove out to um, Winston-Salem so I can, you know, get some food. And it was only supposed to have been about a 20-ish minute drive. Y'all, y'all saw when I turned that GPS on, it was about a 40 minute drive because of traffic. The rain had picked up, it was just bad. So I was late. So um even when i walked in they were already taking the test and stuff like that and i was thinking okay we took we were taking two tests today our unit test as well as our hesse exam cool it was so much communication so much so much miscommunication so much going on and i was trying to figure out okay yes i missed the unit test i wonder if I, i'll just stay here because at first again i've been fighting so hard to just stay in this program given everything that's been going on and um i'm like all right forget it let me just calm down I'm just gonna reschedule to take the unit test at the testing center and then I'll just take the HESI here since they haven't taken it yet and I'm here so again I'm waiting for the instructors to walk out of the room because you know no I'm just out here sitting out here and so when I finally had to make my presence known the instructor goes oh you're here like you you made it I didn't know you were coming well I am I'm here now here's the part that upset me they said if you didn't come, it was gonna be an absence. Knowing for a fact that we out here fighting through traffic, like people that actually have to live, like drive a distance, we're fighting through traffic, I'm still being counted tardy. Like, come on now, give me grace. Give me the same amount of grace y'all be giving these instructors that be sick every other day, canceling class and not uploading, um, not uploading study material and opening units when they're supposed to. Give us that grace. 
What are, what are y'all? What what where's the where's the repercussions for the instructors that aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing? Yet they have all this smoke for the students when we simply just trying to not crash our damn cars and die, you know? So, um, hold on, wait a second. Wait a second. Okay. So anyway, so I was upset about that. I was upset about that and I was also trying to figure out because there was the test, then they broke down and start taking the group test, and it's just so much like her actually it should be considered harassment the amount of emails that this woman sends us in a day and all throughout the day because what so it's so hard to keep up with like the information and stuff on top of everything else so i was confused and i was trying to ask like okay am i going to be able to take the hesse or whatever since i'm here like yeah i'm tardy but i'm here and I don't know if she just didn't understand me or if what she said was what she meant, but she said, you're gonna have to reschedule at the testing center. And I got upset because had I known you weren't gonna allow me to at least sit for one of the tests, the test that I'm here for to take the whole entire test, you know, that y'all haven't even started yet and y'all not started for another 30 minutes from what I heard, I would have been on my way home. I wouldn't be sit, you know, it, it, it wouldn't be dark and raining this hard while I'm trying to drive home. I would have been gone. So I was so irritated. Cause mind you, I've already voiced my grievances and stuff earlier this morning, only for in, in, in the conversation with the director was pleasant. She was a pleasant woman, you know? She has this smile on her face that's very pleasant, but you can tell it's just, you know, yeah. You know, like a little, mm, you know? Like that smile people give you when they're listening to your troubles, but they don't really care. One of those. But it was just a lot of gaslighting. She made so many excuses. She innate, like she's she's enabling the instructor. It was a lot of stuff that I was already upset about that was, you know, brushed to the side. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So I hope y'all can hear me. Cause like I said, it's, it's, it's a lot going on out here right now. So I feel like I have to go over here. Hold on y'all. I can't. I, I feel like the rain is slowing down, so now I'm trying to rush and cover as much distance as I can before I pick back up because, oh, it's so scary. Okay, I think I'm going straight still. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hold on. Let me see. Oh, shoot. No, okay. Anywho, my freaking car is sliding off this road every few seconds. Anyway, anyway. So, um, I'm like, after she said that shit to me, I said, you know what, um, I need to, let, where, the director, let me speak to her again. So, you know, she comes out and I'm asking her, like, where, like, basically, why aren't we giving grace? Y'all know what the weather is looking like out there. Y'all sent this email out. If y'all was just going to do this and not give us any grace, or at least, you know, you know, am I making sense? Like if you see the weather and stuff outside or, or what's going on and we're still trying our hardest to come in, like how are you counting us tardy? Like that doesn't make sense. How are you counting absences? It just didn't make sense to me. You know, y'all know what this woman told me? She told me that, oh, well, yeah, there's inclement weather, but this area is the, oh shit, hold on y'all, hold on. Oh my fuck. I can't see. Okay. Oh my god. Should I turn my... Should I turn my... I'm gonna turn my hazards on. Should I turn my hazards on? Because I literally can't see. I'm gonna turn these on. driving at night as it is <sighs> okay okay I just want to get away from all these other cars because my cars keep sliding and I don't want to slide into somebody's car I'm gonna stay behind this Geico truck we, we got Geico just in case I need to get towed I'm gonna stay behind this tow truck <laughs> anyway um what was I saying so y'all want to know what this lady said to me she said this is the school this is the area our school is in and we aren't having really bad weather here. 
so um, we don't like we can't just cancel class just because there's bad weather everywhere else mind you hold on. mind you she is 100% aware that people like myself are driving more than an hour away an hour and 30 minutes to two hours away She's aware that we also have, like, and it's multiple people that's driving from those distances. We have a girl that's driving four hours from Atlanta just to try to, you know, be in this course, um, get get her nursing degree and stuff like that. But the fact that you said, yeah, we get it. Some of our students have to drive that far away, but fuck them and their safety. We really don't care because it's not affecting our school area. It's disgusting to me. So basically what you're saying is the, the, the health and safety of all your students don't matter. That's what you're saying. And that pissed me off so bad. So on top of everything that's been going on, on top of the, 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 the lack of care, the lack of consideration, the lack of grace, knowing for a fact what's going on out here, and for you to play in my face when I was trying to talk to you and because she tried to have this conversation in front of the students and I'm like yeah you got me fucked up if you think you're about to sit here and try to embarrass me in front of my peers I'm sorry with the cussing now all of a sudden but y'all already know how I get when I get irritated and I'm talking to y'all so um on top of that let me just say this because I know for a fact that the one of the instructors have been stalking my social medias so if she sees this oh well you know exactly who I'm talking to and she gonna know exactly who I'm talking to because I'm only telling y'all this little part right now but I will sit down with y'all a little bit later and give y'all more details of what's been going on the school that I go to the, the all the things I'm telling y'all all the things because this was this was the worst experience of my entire life and I feel very bad I feel horrible but it's, and it's perfectly fine y'all I already made peace with the fact that I'm leaving this program I already prayed on it I asked God for directions, I asked for a sign, I asked what should I do. I've endured this nonsense for as long as I was able to and I'm just over it. I'm just I'm just done, you know. Um, I wish things could have turned out a little bit better, but this this has been I just I don't know. Just the thought the fact I don't know, just I don't know. It's just, it's just disappointing. I'm disappointed. I'm upset. I'm frustrated. I'm disappointed. I'm hurt. I'm, you know, confused. I'm lost. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do, you know? Because this was not in the plan. And I'm just praying to God. I'm praying that this was part of his plan. So it wasn't part of mine, but maybe it was part of his. And I'm just hoping that that's the case because that means something better is coming. Yeah. But that's the only reason why I came to tell y'all because, yeah, I'm dropping out of nursing school. This program, anyway, is just not worth it until they do things better. Being in this program, there's more things about the program that came out that I'm going to share that with y'all later on, too, which makes sense as to why this program is ran so poorly. So, yeah. Good morning. It is the next morning. It's Tuesday morning and your girl is in better spirits. She feeling a little bit better. She did a little skincare this morning. And then I got all my blue scrubs, y'all. Y'all already know the royal blue. It just does something to the shape. It just does, it just does something. Anyway, um, yes, your girl is feeling a little bit better. A little bit better. A little bit more optimistic. Not so pissed off, but... Um, I'm dressed and I'm in scrubs because technically I am still a nursing student as of right now So I have to go on campus and they said that every time we go on campus They want us to be in scrubs. I have to go on campus because I'm about to officially um, Let me set y'all down. I'm about to Go to the um I need to speak with veteran services. I need to speak with like my VA rep and stuff like that just so I can get an understanding on what it looks like with me leaving the program with, you know, the tuition already paid, the VA already paid all this money. The money's spent. The money's gone. It's gone. So I got to figure out what that is supposed to look like because I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, so I'm about to walk out the door. Let's see what I need. How much? Okay, 
but yeah so i got all my things um, i'm about to get ready to head out the door now i haven't eaten yet this morning so i need to stop and grab something to eat i'm thinking because like yesterday i got oh my braids are shedding yesterday i got mcdonald's i don't think i want to do that this morning or do i Ooh. Mm -hmm. i am we already know i am um it is 8 48 and i'm not in a rush or anything today obviously i'm just you know my thing is if the school actually answered the phone then i wouldn't even be having to take this drive but they don't really answer the phone like that this is the outfit get into it get into it get into it on some lip gloss real quick gonna open this today we gonna we gonna let some light in here today oh. all right y'all so i just left from talking with veteran affairs and you can probably hear it in my voice that it went okay hold on let me take this off because it's hot in here and i got high heat on like i done lost my mind but um yeah so <laughs> it didn't go it went okay i feel like it went okay I was kind of hoping to just wash my hands with the whole thing and like be done with it but they gave me basically like certain steps and stuff that I have to take that way I can avoid having to pay back money and stuff like that because just as I suspected there would be um there would be paying back of funds associated with this whole situation but like I said, I kind of expected that, but so as of right now, I'm still a nursing student um, and I just want to make sure I am doing everything correct. Anything that I start, if I do have to leave early, I want to make sure I am still doing my very best until the very end. So I plan on doing the same thing with this. So with that being said, I'm just trying to get my mind right. I'm just trying to get, um, I'm just trying to get my mind right. But at least, at least, um, at least they gave me some direction on how something like this is supposed to go when you are having a problem and stuff like that. Y'all, I am sweating. You can't see it. That's why I like these scrubs. You can't see it. But um, they at least gave me some insight on how something like this is supposed to go. It's an actual process. There's an actual is there's actual structure to this. There's a timeline. So um, with that being said, at least I know where I'm going with this. Which means I gotta figure out how to get my head back in the game. Cause I kid y'all not, I thought this would have been a simple. Okay, yeah, you can go. You're gonna have to pay this money back, but yeah, you can just go. Apparently, it's not that simple. I checked out last night. <laughs> I checked out last night. So with that being said, I think I'm going to reschedule to this calendar. Let me get my handy dandy agenda. Take these exams that I miss Thursday, cause today's Tuesday, that gives me Wednesday. I'm gonna take it Thursday. So I gotta schedule with the testing center to retake these tests Thursday. I'm thinking Friday is going to be I'm still gonna let that be my first clinical day so I'll still show up to clinical I'll let that be my first clinical day
I'm so frustrated. I just. Mm. Okay. Okay. Let me think. It's okay. Maybe this is a good thing. It's okay. Okay. All right, y'all. Um. I'm about to go get me some boba get me one of those crab floss that little thing I had yesterday and did I say boba already? <laughs> yeah I'm about to go and do that real quick and then head home because this is too much I gotta go and process this I gotta go and get myself situated get myself organized and then go home I've never, never I had two degrees, multiple licenses. I've been in school for as long as I can remember. And I've never been as frustrated and as lost as I am with this program. And that's what's frustrating because I don't want to do this. This program is just not a good fit for me. I don't know if they intend for it to be like this. I don't know. <sighs> okay, that's enough. I'm about to call my husband. I'm about to vent to him real quick. While I'm on my way to get my stuff. And then I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Bye.